Light Matica. It is one of the coolest Minecraft mods allowing to easily use schematics in Minecraft. Schematics being how you can move something from one world to another world using basically a schematic file. With Light Matica, you can create schematics, you can move schematics, meaning you can move them into a different world, and you can readjust schematics in game, all with a sort of GUI sort of setup. It's really, really cool and one of the best Minecraft mods out there. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get it in Minecraft 1.19.2. So let's go ahead and get it downloaded. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth text tutorial for getting Lightmatica for 1.19.2. And once you're here, just scroll down and click the yellow download button. You can use this text tutorial if you want to go more at your own pace, but we're going to be going over everything in this video. So click the yellow download button. Takes you to Lightmatica's official download page. Where we want to come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section, and then download Lightmatica Fabric 1.19.2. So click on the orange download button there, and the download will begin. However, while it's downloading, how about a mess from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love it today, Apex so much we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft hosting and truthfully Apex is the best place to start a server with 24 hours, 7 day a week support and over 200 mod packs with one click installation. You can also add plugins to your server super super easily. So go check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, Lightmatica has now downloaded. You may need to keep this in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. There's one more thing we need to download, and that is the Mali Lib. The Mali Lib is basically a requirement library for Lightmatica to work. So once you're here, third link in the description down below, by the way, this is our in-depth tutorial for Mali Lib, and just click the yellow download button to be taken to Mali Lib's official download page. Same thing, come over here to the right hand side, scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section, and then download Mali Lib Fabric 1.19.2. Plug in the orange download button there, and the download will begin after a few seconds, and just like Lightmatica, you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. We also need to download Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader that allows Lightmatica to work in Minecraft. Basically, it links Lightmatica to Minecraft, allowing them to work awesomely together. Nevertheless, you can find Fabric in the description down below, of course, and it will take you here. This is our complete guide for getting the Fabric mod loader. It goes over everything super in-depth, and it is 100% worth checking out. However, once you're here, just click on the yellow Download Fabric button to be taken to Fabric's official download page. On this page, you want to make sure that you click Download Universal Jar. The reason we're clicking that is it's going to make sure that no matter what, moving forward, you have the correct version of Java and everything ready to go for your Minecraft mods. If you want to install Forge mods, Let's run a Minecraft server, anything else in the future, by doing the Universal Jar now, we can ensure that all of those will work in the future. So we click this little Download Universal Jar link in. You might need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. 100% safe. To do that though, millions of people have used the Fabric Launcher. Lastly, we can minimize our browser and let's go ahead and move all these files to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open this up, and in here you will find the Fabric Installer, Mollylib, and Lightmatica. Let's drag and drop all of these to our desktop. Now let's go ahead and get started. So we want to start off with actually the Fabric Installer here. Now, if these drop icons aren't the same as mine, that's okay. Let's go ahead and try to open up Fabric first. To do that, right-click on the Fabric Installer, click Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java or if your icons are broken, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods in 1.19.2, and this is our in-depth guide on getting Java for those Minecraft mods. As you can see, super in-depth, covers everything you need to know, and in under six minutes of reading this article, you will be having Java installed. We also have an in-depth video guide if you prefer that. You may also need to run the jar fix. What this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. It's also what's going to fix your icons. However, you need to get Java 17 first, then run the jar fix. Otherwise, the jar fix won't work. Nevertheless, we can minimize our browser and we can finally right click on the Fabric Installer, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Fabric Installer right like so, where we want to make sure that 1.19.2 is selected. And then we want to go ahead and click on the Install button here. Once the installation is complete, it will come up here and say Fabric Loader 1.19.2 has been successfully installed. You can click OK and close out of the Fabric Installer. With Fabric installed, we can now go ahead and move on to installing Lightmatica and of course Molly Lib because Molly Lib is required for Lightmatica. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher, and then before you hit play in the Minecraft Launcher, we want to make sure that we have the Fabric Loader here. As you can see, we have the Fabric Loader right down here. If you have that, great, but don't click play yet because we need to install these mods before opening up Minecraft. So 
Once we have the fabric loader here, we can go up to installations. Now, if you don't have the fabric loader on the installations tab here, what you want to do is make sure modded is checked. As you can see, you uncheck modded, it disappears. You check modded, there it is. But if you still don't have the fabric loader here, no worries. Let's get new installation. Then we can name the server you want. I'm going to name it Lightmatica 1.19.2 because, uh, well, that's what this is. And then you want to click the version drop down box. This is the most important part. You want to make sure release fabric loader 1.19.2 is selected here. So, boom there we go if it's not this version it will not work I'm also going to change our resolution so we can see once we get in game but you don't have to do that now click create in the bottom right and now let's install Lightmatica to do this you can either hover over the fabric loader that was there by default or the one you created doesn't matter which and click on the folder that appears once you do that it's going to open up your dot minecraft folder where you should have a mods folder but Nick I don't have a mods folder what do I do well if you don't have a mods folder just create one so we're going to right click create a new folder and we're going to name this folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that open up your newly created mods folder and now drag and drop lightmatica and molly lib into this mods folder and if you already had a mods folder that's perfectly fine you can install lightmatica with other fabric 1.19.2 mods nevertheless let's go ahead and close out of our mods folder and now we just need to launch up minecraft with fabric this can either be the one you created or it can be the one that's there already if you already had that it doesn't matter just click play and click play again on either one of those versions and it will open up minecraft with not only fabric but most importantly with lightmatica installed and by the way, you can delete the fabric installer from your desktop. If you've not done that already, it's not needed there. It's just moving it to our desktop so it's easier to access when we are installing it. But once it's installed, you don't need the installer. So here we are in Minecraft. Unfortunately, with fabric, there's no real way to see mods installed from the main menu. But of course, we can go into single player and jump into a world to see that Lymatica is active. One of the coolest things about Lightmatica is we actually have an in-depth guide on how to use Lightmatica, and it, of course, is linked in the description down below. This guide here goes over everything you need to know. It is super in-depth whenever you have Lightmatica installed. Like, it's absolutely insane. All the stuff you can do with this mod, 11-minute video on just using the mod. It doesn't really even cover installing it. That's what this video is for. So go check that out if you want an in-depth guide, but just to prove that it is working, if we hit M in game, that opens up the Lightmatica menu where you can see different schematic placements, all of that stuff can be seen here and it, it's truly incredible all the different configurations you can do you can do things like make selections all sorts of stuff from this menu so absolutely incredible and one of the coolest things about Lightmatica is all the stuff that you can do with it copy paste move stuff you can manage schematics right if you want to open your schematic folder you can do that in here I believe let's see maybe not maybe you can't open the folder from here but if you want to know where the schematic folder is just go back into the Minecraft launcher and once we go back in to the Minecraft launcher it's actually kind of crazy how easy it is to access the schematics folder so you go into the Minecraft launcher and then what we're gonna do is go back to the installations tab and click on that same folder we clicked on to install the mods, right? So basically from the Minecraft launcher, click installations, hover over the profile you want, doesn't matter which one of these, click the folder here, and in here you will have this, the schematics folder, and this is where you'll put any schematics that you want to load into Minecraft, and that's that. That is how to get Lightmatica in Minecraft 1.19.2. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. You might have noticed throughout this video that we used the 1.19.1 version. Those work in 1.19.2. There are a few bugs, but overall they do work. Uh, the 1.19.2 official versions will be coming out in the future, but nevertheless, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.